Now we are going to start with the sinking and flotation of bodies. This is a very important phenomena because you see that some of the bodies float in a liquid and some of the bodies sink down. So we should know that what are the conditions actually which prevail that which leads to sinking or floating of the body. So whenever any body is immersed in a fluid, two kind of forces act on it. One which is acting downward, that is due to the uh, obviously a gravitational force which is attracting body towards down. And other force is the up thrust which we have already studied. So there is two forces W1 which is acting downward, W2 which is an up thrust. So there can be a con these two forces are not always equal and op uh, not always equal though they are opposite but they are not always equal. So we encounter many kind of situations in which there can be a possibility when this is bigger there can be a possibility when both are equal, there can be a possibility when it, this force is bigger and this is less. So these three conditions actually uh, you can say decide that whether the body is going to sink or float. So uh, we have a condition in which the W1, there can be a chance that W1 is more than W2. Obviously when this is going to be more, then the body is going to uh, sink. You know that obviously if the downward force is more, a body is going to sink down. And uh, apparent loss in weight we can calculate by W1 minus W2 because W1 is more and W2 is less. So we can found by W1 minus W2. Now here is the condition when both the forces are equal. So when both the forces are equal, body is going to float body is going to float but it is not going to float above the surface or it is going to float just below the surface it is going to float just below the surface in this case if we find the if we uh, try to find the apparent weight it is going to uh, be proved as zero in this case the apparent weight is zero and you know that probably this kind of thing is seen when the density of body is equal to the when density of body is equal to the density of fluid right so uh, the third condition when w2 is more than w1 so again in this case also body is going to float apparent weight is obviously again going to be zero but uh, you can say that uh, this condition is probably seen when the density of body is less than the density of the fluid so this is what is the three conditions i think you got it that under what condition the body is going to be sink and when the body is going to float below the surface and when the body is going to float just above and below both as you can see in the third one some volume is above the surface and some volume is in the water so this you can see so now we have a principle of flotation which states that a body is going to float when when the weight of the body is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by it. So this is what is the principle of flotation which, uh, which decides that a condition necessary for the body to float is that that the weight of the body should be equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. So now we are going to start with a few applications where we will see that this principle of flotation is being obeyed. So this is what is a sinking and flotation. So just do it because you get a questions based on it. it. It is an important part because you should know that how to find an apparent weight and under what condition uh, apparent weight can be a zero and under what condition a body float below or above the surface. So you should know about that. So now we are going to study about the applications of the principle of flotation.